in your paper about um, state aggregation, which mm -hmm. is some a new term that I learned actually, I had no mm -hmm. idea that. Well, was that's thing. a frame. Yeah. Um, could you kind of explain what the premise of state aggregation was and how this event like affects economic agents? So life. this is exactly what we already were talking about, is just uh, the language develops with uh, papers when you write them. So originally I started calling it state aggregation, but essentially it's a frame. Oh, right. Yeah. So I, th I thought it was more specific in the sense that they like... No, I just... And they simplify. Uh, uh, language develops when you develop in certain right, area, okay. right? And uh, you learn to talk about it. Mm. So sometimes it takes several papers to oh, come right, up with okay. the right way of talking about it to people. Mm. Would you say that oh, like in all these examples of framing, like you said, in healthcare, in mm -hmm. like insurance plans, is there any example of framing that you found particularly like effective that you've noticed before? Uh, well, I'm not an applied person, so I don't study real plans, right? right? So I, I just uh, I mean, like, think about... More like every day though, like either like walking through somewhere and then seeing insurance plans or something like that? I mean, obviously, uh, we're exposed a lot to health insurance plans, right?